Well gang, this wasn't on my list of things to do today, but I guess it has become one of those things. Originally I was just swapping out some tires and wheels on this 1990 Ranger that I had picked up as a daily driver. And when I was taking the wheel off the back, I noticed there was a lot of play in the brake drum. So of course I'm going to go look and try to see what's going on. So um, I pulled the drum off and I see the, the shoes are worn. And I've already adjusted some things in this side trying to make it work. Um, but I want to show you what the real problem was. Um, this little carrier for the uh, adjuster goes down here and makes this move. Supposedly when you back up, um, this little adjuster will rotate down, turn this gear right here and extend this out and make your shoes fit the drum and that's a, that's all well and good it's supposed to work and I assume it does but to make that work this little keeper right here has a hole with a little flange on it and that has to go into the hole of the brake shoe well when I took this apart this was loose and it wasn't in that hole and in in the same uh, way that being loose made this little cable loose. Now this one side I've already adjusted and put it back together and you can see that cable is snug. But let me show you what's going on on the other side. Okay, so you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's hard to see with the, even with the sun on it, but the edge of the hole is showing right there. So that already tells me this isn't sitting right and I can see that it's, it, it wiggles. And it shouldn't do that and that also makes that cable loose that cable is not doing what it's supposed to be doing right now so then I went a step further and I decided well how are the drums well in this case this is supposed to be 9.060 I've already measured this thing and it's at 9.140 so it's scrap to begin with so of course I bought some new drums and I pre-measured that one and this one uh, as I checked it using the micrometer I'm sorry the caliper um, it's at 9.0 so obviously there's a big discrepancy in the size of the drums um, along with that I, I went ahead and got some new uh, brake shoes if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it all but I'm going to go through these steps and show you uh, what it takes to swap out this stuff on a 1990 Ford Ranger. Okay, one thing I'm going to show you right off is that the brake shoes are different. When you open the box, you're going to get four shoes, and you'll have two with short lengths of uh, brake material and two with long lengths. And if you look at how your shoes are on the, on the drum itself or on the uh, housing, there's a, the short one is up front and the long one is in the back. Just wanted to point that out to you. And now I'm going to take this apart and I may not do this exactly the same as somebody who's been, who's uh, does them at a brake jaw or brake uh, service center or something like that. I'm just going to do it the way that I know how to do it and I know what works for me. I'm going to start off by taking that spring off. I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to grab the next spring, take it off, let it, it'll just be loose at this point, and then I'll take, get it out of the way. Um, and then this uh, carrier for the uh, adjuster, there, spring, it's got tension on it, but you can see there, there's a little shoulder I was talking about that sits in the uh, hole of the brake shoe and there's I'll show you the new one it sits back in there recesses into that a little bit and that creates a pivot point that's pretty critical to that working um, the next thing I'm going to take off is I can get that cable loose get it out of the way and sorry I didn't show that but there's it hooks onto that plate down here that makes the uh, 
automatic adjuster operate. I have to reset this just a little bit. So then, when you get a hold of this um, lower spring and unhook it from the adjuster. Now that's out of the way. And all these springs have funky ends on them. Because this crazy hook thing. And that's just the way they design them to retain themselves into the shoes. Um, then I get the little plate out of the way. That's the adjuster. It has a hook on it, as you can see. And other than a little container clip up on the top, um, the only thing left is to take loose the retainers for the uh, shoes themselves. Now there's, there's a tool for this and I do have one, but I just want to show you this as well. I usually just take a pair of vice grips, put my hand in the back, and uh, there's, a, there's actually a pin with a, with a flat head on it. Like a, I'll show you. I hold the pin with my finger in the back, and I rotate, and then there's, you can see that retainer has a flat spot, spring, and if I take this rod all the way out, I can show you that it also has a, like a flat end on it, and all this thing does is turn and lock in. That's it, pretty simple. So I'll take that off. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try to use this as a tool for that and it's it acts the same way only it doesn't hang on to it it just presses against it and pushes it off take the spring out and there's the right shoe loose I'm gonna show you something else in just a second and the left shoe has a hook in it I don't know if you can see that right there that's part of the brake uh, parking brake and that will unhook and you can see the little hook there out of the shoe and set that aside the other thing I want to show you is the adjuster and it's critical that this has uh, good function to it and if you can see I'm turning counterclockwise and it's getting tight I'm turning clockwise spreading apart now these are different from side to side and so whenever the shoe is in operation or the uh, adjuster is being operated these little teeth right here are hit by this piece and it it'll make that thing turn and what that does is as it turns in this case um, clockwise it extends this out Basically the idea is that as the shoes get thinner, you know, because they're always pushing out and hitting the brake drum, as they get thinner, eventually they don't have any friction. So whenever, the way this is supposed to work, as you back up and touch your brakes, that little adjuster goes up and down and it makes this turn. And it makes these expand and put tension back on the brake shoes against the drum. Hope that makes sense. So, at this point, um, I'm going to reverse the order, and I'm not going to put the camera on for that, but I'm going to reverse the order. And one thing I want to point out is when you're doing this, just do one side at a time. Some people will take some, both sides apart and then try to go back and put them together, and, and they have no point of reference. Um, with this, if you only do one side at a time, you've got your point of reference always over on the other side, and you just do a mirror image and put it back together. Okay, so I put some of it back together. I don't want to get too far ahead and not show you some things. Uh, it's important that this arm, this rod, or what do you want to call it, flat plate, this runs between the two brake shoes, here to here. It's, it's really important that this is hooked on in these locations. If you look on this, there's a recess right here, and that's where that plate butts against that. Um, the idea, 
I guess is to keep them from collapsing too much in. It's like a stop, so they can't compress the uh, wheel cylinder too much. Um, also, there's this little, I put that little keeper up here, and then I installed the cable for the adjuster, and then I put this first spring on. And now you can see, I hope, you know, this little uh, adjuster plate is in the pivot hole, and the spring is holding it in place. As I move along, I'll, I'll show you some more. Okay, so that spring is back in place. You hook it, come back up, hook it around this post. The cable is extended. And I put the little adjuster piece in and then set the hook into that. The spring is, I just fished it up into place there. Um, not much to it. And then what I'll do is I'm going to clamp my vice grips on and stretch it over and hook it up in that hole where this cable hook is. Okay, that, cable, that spring is hooked up now. And one other thing I wanted to point out and I didn't uh, was the adjuster, I collapsed it all the way in. That way I only had so much space to work with. Um, another way you could do this is to hook the spring without the adjuster in there at all and then push the two shoes apart and slip the adjuster up inside uh, and now the next step is I'm gonna put the set the brake drum on the new one and figure out how much you know if there's any play in it and then I'll manually adjust this I'll take the plate the uh, brake drum back off and then I'll rotate that with the screwdriver until I get just a little bit of tension on the shoes themselves. One other thing I'll point out, um, whenever you get these new brake drums, they're gonna have oil on them or a little bit of grease from the shipping. And so you wanna take some brake cleaner on a paper towel, simple stuff, and just wipe them down. That way you're not transferring any grease on to your uh, new brake shoes and let's see how that fits okay there's a lot of play there so I'm gonna take my screwdriver and I'm gonna just bump around that adjuster and all it does is spread them out a little bit that's better but there's still some play I'll keep adjusting that until I get it to where I like it all right I think I've got it where I want it a little bit of contact you can hear that and that should do it now I'll do the other side and I should have good brakes um, sorry if I, I feel like I went too fast on this one it's a little cold outside and I just kind of want to get it done but I want to show you this information thanks for watching